If you want to learn how to put your straps on in less than a second, make the perfect tricep attachment, and watch me have an unwarranted breakdown about my early life, you're in the right place. So here are 17 gym hacks that I personally use to save time, effort, and to improve gains. One. Cable lateral raises are one of the best ways to get thick, meaty delts, but perhaps you've encountered this problem. Towards the end of a set, your wrist might start to give up before your side delt. Now, the obvious solution to this is using a cuff, but say your gym doesn't have any and you don't want to buy any. What do you do? Well, you can actually use the close grip handle like this to place most of the load on your forearm above the wrist joint. And that will mean that when you can't do any more lateral raises, that's your shoulder hitting failure and not your wrist. Two. Deadlifts are a great and staple exercise, and the chances are you're going to be using a lot of weight, or at least, you know, more than one plate. Now, I bet you think I'm about to tell you to roll the deadlift bar onto a little plate so you can take the plates on and off. Well, I'm not going to tell you to do that, because that is dumb. All you've got to do is grab the plates from the bottom, and then they'll slide on easily, and bonus, you won't look like a mug rolling your deadlift bar around like you're trying to parallel park it. So, you want to go for a bench press one rep max so that you can show all your mates that you're the biggest man with the biggest dick. Chest. The, the biggest chest. But, there's no one around to spot you. Or you don't want to ask someone because you feel more socially awkward than the time that you went to your friend's house and they said that their dad might not remember you and you said, what, has he got dementia or something? And he did. Yeah, and you felt like a real prick. Do you remember when you did that? It wasn't me. Anyway, you've decided to go for the bench press anyway. But, you fail. You can either... Three. Rock the weight from side to side until the plates fall off, but preferably four, push the weight down your body until it sits on your lap, at which point you can just stand up. Or of course, five, you could just, you know, die under the bar. Six, we should not be skipping calves, especially you, person who hasn't left a like yet. But one problem that a lot of the seated calf raise machines have is that when you fail, you have to get the weight back up to the top. This means that if you misjudge it, you're gonna get stuck at the bottom. Well, here's my solution. For my whole set, I'm going to lean forwards onto the handles, which puts more weight on my calves. Then, at the end of the set, all I have to do is lean back, the machine gets a little bit lighter, and I can easily re-rack. 7. Lat pulldowns are a fantastic exercise for the back, and specifically, the lower lats. And, like with any pulling movement, you'll get more out of it by using straps. But traditional lifting straps can take quite a long time to get on, they're quite fiddly and annoying. Oh, David, just just don't use wrist straps and be a real man. Shut the fuck up. Unless your dream physique is this guy smoking a pipe and walking like you've got cystitis, you should be using straps because your back is stronger than your grip, which means that your grip will become a limiting factor, which means you're less able to take your back to failure. You prick. <clears throat> sorry, I just, um, sorry. Anyway, the obvious solution would be VersaGrips, but say you don't want to buy VersaGrips. Well, you can take a conventional strap and loop it back through itself and make it into a makeshift VersaGrip, so you can take your back to failure quickly and easily. If you're trying to get massive legs, you're already well acquainted with the leg extension. This exercise succeeds with hitting the rectus femoris where a squat pattern movement fails. But here are a couple of tweaks that we can use to make this exercise even better. 8. Every leg extension has a certain amount of range of motion, and say you want to increase that range of motion to get a greater stretch, you can put something on the foot pad, like a folded up mat, or here I'm using a foam foot plate. Nine. It can be difficult, especially with heavy weight, to hold yourself in the seat while doing leg extensions. So if you just want to focus on your quads and potentially increase output, I'd recommend strapping up. It just gives you less to think about and gives you fewer excuses to not go to failure. And here I'm leaning forwards to shorten my rec fem as much as I can. 10. Now you could opt to do the opposite and train the rec fem in the lengthened position. And you can do this by just leaning back and extending your hips. These sorts of movements were part of the training philosophy of Tom Platts. And if you're going to listen to anyone, I'd listen to him. What the f*** is that? Like, what? I, I, I'm sorry I've made you see that. Uh, as my way of apologising, here's an embarrassing picture from my youth and... Jesus. What, what, what is that hair? How was I allowed to have that?
Bear in mind, I thought I looked like Jake Gyllenhaal from the 2010 film Prince of Persia, when instead I looked like Edna Mode had a child with a skiing helmet. 11. Anyone on a cut knows how important steps are for expenditure. Now, one thing that my coach suggested to help increase my step count was to just walk around the gym in between sets, which he lovingly called twat laps, which I guess it's because you look like a twat. 12. Right, it's time to talk some bloody triceps, mate. Now, if you didn't know, the straight bar pushdown is kind of mid. It limits your range of motion. It's just a bit naff. However, if once again, we use our straps and loop it around the sides of the bar, we create one of the best tricep attachments that you can use. It's essentially like a rope, except you get to decide the width so you're not wasting force pressing outwards. If you're skeptical, give this one a try and you'll thank me later. 13. A lever belt is a fantastic piece of gym equipment. It allows you to brace your core more strongly, keep your spine rigid and ultimately potentially lift more. But it's not all singing and dancing. Sometimes they can be quite uncomfortable to wear and a potential cause of that could be the sharp edge. If this problem occurs, I tend to put a knee sleeve down where the sharp edge of the belt is to cushion myself from it. And doing the same thing can also be a solution for if your belt is just a tiny bit too loose, but not loose enough to tighten it another hole. So now you're ready to go and hit a PR. Go on, go, go and hit a PR, you might as well. I'm just padding for time to get more watch hours, so you might as well do something useful. 14. Did you know that you can actually just put your phone down in the gym? Contrary to popular belief, you actually don't need to drop kick it or throw the phone so hard that it flies through the air and slides along the floor through a conveniently open door and then falls down some stairs and then slides into the reception area while opening the doors and hits the lift button and then patiently waits for that lift, hops inside and then decides to go to the first floor, hops back out of the lift and then goes up some stairs and then goes down a water slide, comes back out of the water slide, slides along the floor and then goes in the bin. Yeah, you can, you can just put it down, man. 15. In this world, there are short people and there are tall people, and a lot of the time machines don't cater for people who are short. For example, this hack squat machine. Now, obviously, I'm just going to pretend to be short for this demo. I am actually 8 foot 4. But when I try to get full range of motion on this hack squat, you can see that I hit the bottom. Now, the way to solve this is by putting a plate onto the foot plate. This makes you start higher on the machine, which means you can get lower, which of course also means more lovely quad gains. 16. Drop sets are a great way to squeeze more volume into your session in a shorter time, but they can be a bit fiddly because not only do you need to get out of the exercise that you're doing, but you've got to select a new weight, you've got to apply that new weight, and you've got to get back into the machine. Luckily, we can take out one of those steps. By pre-placing a second weight pin at the desired weight to drop set, all you need to do is take out the heaviest pin and you can get straight back into the exercise with the lighter weight. 17. You know Goldilocks and the Three Bears, that like super relatable story? Well, what if that happened while trying to adjust a bench? Say that one notch is a little bit too high and the next notch down is too low. What do you do? Well, if you have a bench this style, you can put a metal D handle in to slightly raise the bench. And in this instance, it makes that rear delt setup just magnifique. So there you have it. That was 17 hacks and I've got heaps more of these. So if you want more, comment below, subscribe, and I'll get a part two out.